The dark truth behind these Roblox games. A lot of scary Roblox games were inspired by real events and tragic stories, but some are still a mystery. Let's look at some of these horror games and find out what the true story behind them is. Starting with the back rooms, let's take a look. Did you know the back rooms is based on a true story? Okay. In 1905, what is it? The government started an agency called B-Link Laboratories okay. and started kidnapping people to test as their subjects. Only one person survived and was able to tell the scientists that he saw weird creatures and monsters in the rooms. Okay. All of his friends were considered <laughs> right, dead and the government was afraid of what they have discovered. What the government discover? closed the gates and never let anybody in ever again. And the lab has been closed down, never to be seen again. Source. Trust me, bro. <laughs> Alright, so obviously this story is fake but not everything is fake about the back rooms like for example this creepy photo is actually 100 real but where did it come from well doing some research i found out that this photo was posted on may 2019 on 4chan and then two days later someone left a comment detailing the original creepy story that would soon be the entire story of the back rooms it says if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas you'll end up in the back rooms god save you if you hear something wandering around nearby because it for sure has heard you <laughs> That's creepy. No, but yeah, even though that story is fake, this image is actually real. And a lot of people have been trying to find out the original source of it is just because of how disturbing and creepy it looks. It's actually called Luminal Space. If you look at Google Images of Luminal Space, you could see other similar creepy images that looks like they belong in the back rooms. But no, this is actually real. And so far, no one's been able to find out where this image was actually taken. Some people went as far as to look at different wallpapers and try to match the source of it. Some even theorized that this photo was taken in North America just by looking at the outlets in the picture <laughs> and then they even took it into this program to see if it was photoshopped and it wasn't this was 100% a real photo but nobody knows where it was taken and the most creepiest true story thing about the back rooms is that in Google Earth there's actually coordinates that look similar to the back rooms so there's this image here that looks like a giant hole in the ground but we don't know where it leads to there's also this one here that has some words on the walls it says don't search or you'll sink and here are the coordinates to get to that location according to this reddit user it was a real life back rooms in japan um but it was apparently taken down this footage actually blew up on tiktok and then google removed them now more than likely that footage is fake and someone just hacked google maps and then google maps corrected it but it's still pretty scary and interesting that it was available on google earth at one point but now we move on to the dark truth about the rainbow friends let's take a look this game is based on real life okay what like do we got rebooted poppy before it goes away oh yeah like and subscribe please so I am sure several of you have heard of Rainbow Friends. Yeah, it yeah. It is one of the most popular Roblox games right it now. It is. It's actually really I popular. I've video on it before. So this game is actually based off a real show called Rainbow New Friends. Rainbow New Friends. Okay, I knew it was called Rainbow, but I didn't know it was actually called New Friends and Other Stories. That's interesting. Okay. 1994. Take a look. No, but yeah, this is actually like a real show. So there are obviously a lot of similarities. But if Rainbow Friends is based on this, does that mean the children were really captured and killed by these Muppets? No, In I don't Roblox think so. <laughs> most of the children die except a few, and one even had a heart attack. Luckily, the show didn't show any of that happen, but there is still some more. There is Make still sure some more, that is safe. true. So yeah, that story is somewhat true. The show actually came out in 1972, and it was just called Rainbow. It was the British version of Sesame Street. A lot of people theorize that the Rainbow Friends could also be inspired by another kid's TV show called Teletubbies. I mean, there you got green, purple, red, and yellow. You're literally just missing blue. And look, look, they have children inside their stomachs. Oh no, Rainbow Friends is based off the Teletubbies. <laughs> More than likely, Rainbow Friends were inspired off of the game Poppy's Playtime with the whole characters once being humans. We have Ew, that's scary. Can you hear us, Thomas? Wait, did you say can you hear us, Thomas? Much more oh, jeez. That's spooky. Subsequent... Alright, so in Poppy's Playtime, this is like a character called Braun, I think. And he was actually a human at one point. Oh no, Braun, what happened to you? But yeah, Poppy's Playtime and Rainbow Friends were both more than likely inspired off of Five Nights at Freddy's with the whole killer mascots thing. And in Game Theory's first Five Nights at Freddy's videos, he talks about a creepy real life story that happened at a Chuck E. Cheese that could have potentially given some inspiration to the creator of the game. Let's take a look. 
December 1993, manager Margaret Kohlberg and teenage employees Sylvia Crowell, Ben Grant, Colleen O'Connor, people. and Bobby Stevens are forced to stay late to close up shop. Unknown to any of the five, there's actually a sixth person locked in the building with them, waiting oh, silently in the darkened restrooms. A 19-year-old named Nathan Dunlap. So yeah, the quick story about this is that this guy got fired from Chuck E. Cheese, and then he got revenge and took out some employees at the restaurant. He was actually given the death penalty, but I think he's still alive to this day. Because I have a strong suspicion that this story is the one that inspired Five Nights at Freddy's. Pretty spooky when you think about it. Alright, but now we move on to the backstory of Doors. Take a look. Roblox games with horrifying backstory. Okay. <laughs> so there was this couple that needed to go to a hotel to rest. Yeah, they went yeah. into the building and went down the elevator. They then saw that nobody was at the reservation desk. Okay. And when they saw that the key to their door was behind the desk, they went to get it. Once they opened the door, they saw a hallway to a different door. The couple okay. thought it was normal. But so once far, this they just kept sounds going exactly like different the game. Doors, something was wrong. After that, they tried to call 911. There wasn't any signal. No, oh, no. The man heard ups behind him, and he couldn't find who that was. The monster came out and hurt him, and his wife tried to help, but he kept bleeding. Oh no, did he, he die? He was gone. Oh. Then the wife heard the ps as well. She was gone after that. Stay safe. The actual story behind Doors, the creators of Doors wanted to make a unique horror game so they worked on one and published it. So I wouldn't actually say it's unique, Doors is actually inspired by another Roblox game called Rooms, made by Nico Rocks. Journey alone with others through the rooms, but whatever you do, don't let it catch you. Here, let's just take a quick look at it. Alright, so we just go through this door. Oh jeez, that's scary, okay. Wait, do I actually like hide in here? Oh um, Wait, it does the whole heartbeat thing. Wait, Doors actually copied the game. Okay, where are the monsters? That's what I'm waiting for. Okay, you get batteries in here. Interesting, interesting. Where are the monsters? I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, so something I noticed is that as I get further into the rooms, the rooms actually get darker. Oh no, I think I'm gonna have to start using my flashlight. I don't like this. <laughs> oh jeez, it's getting really dark now. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> Okay, so apparently things don't actually start happening until like much later in the game. Uh, so here's a video here that kind of shows some of the mo- OH MY GOSH! Uh um, but yeah, another game that Doors was inspired off of is called Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. So here's a Steam page, it's actually like a free game. It was really popular back in the day. The entire concept is that it starts off really cute in the beginning with like cute little happy monsters, but then as you get deeper and deeper into the mansion, uh, the game starts becoming pretty realistic and horrifying. <laughs> so yeah, use like a cute little jump scare of that skeleton. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Who is happening? <laughs> And so yeah, you have to actually get to room 1000. That's like the entire goal. Uh, but let's actually look at some of the monsters here. So there's one called Specimen 2. Does that look familiar at all? And like we got figure over here. <laughs> Wait, that actually does look kind of like figure, huh? Oh look, this character looks pretty familiar. It's got a realistic face. What is that? Ooh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a lot of games are inspired by different things. It doesn't mean it's like an exact copy or anything like that. Doors in a lot of these different games are also inspired by a lot of haunted mansions or haunted hotel stories that we hear every so often. And yeah, I just find all that stuff pretty fascinating. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.